Yo, what is going on guys? So normally when there's a rank up that I'm super excited about, I don't really wait for level up. However, I mean, I didn't wait for, for Gladiator. I just said YOLO, ranked him up. But uh, I have been waiting for to do some of these other ranks because I just have so many that I want to do. I was thinking, you know, like, why, might as well just wait for the level up event and just do a mass rank up video. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to see how many points we can get in level up. Um, probably going to be quite a bit. We're going to have multiple new six star rank fives we're gonna have a seven star rank two uh some other stuff so yeah let's go ahead and take a look in the inventory because that is where we need to begin <clears throat> because we just have a ton of awakening gems and sorry if my voice sounds a little bit weird i am currently sick with covid so yeah if i sound a bit off that is why it, i i can just tell i sound different but <clears throat> whatever but yeah we got some big rank up gems so we have two four to five six star gems we got the cosmic one here i paid 1.5 million loyalty for this bad boy uh and then we have a tech four to five gem this one was free just from doing act 8.3 i don't know if it was completion or exploration but i don't know but we got it and then we also got a three to four mutant gem from 8.3 as well and i was a little originally disappointed with this but then i realized who, who exactly this is going to i'm like you know what that's actually a really good pull so i'm excited about that and then of course we have the biggest gem in the game uh well except for the two to three gem that fintech one but uh, i will be getting one of those next month for necropolis but uh one to two seven star rank up gem so my good buddy andy he he's doing a very smart decision he is holding this until necropolis comes out to make a rank up for it i think that's very smart i feel like i should probably do that too but nah <laughs> i want to do a rank up so we're, we're just gonna be using that that'll be the grand finale of this video that rank up so we'll, we'll get to that but uh let's just go ahead and get started with this three to four gem so let's go ahead and begin with that so if we take a look hold on let me let me see the, how our iso is looking all right let, let me just use up a little bit of this iso first on adam warlock he is just sitting at rank one level one we'll be coming we'll be circling back to adam in, in in a little bit but uh let's let's go take a look at the mutant roster first let's put this to rank fives i have one mutant rank five so far that's kitty pride here are the mutant rank fours tons of good champs here here are the mutant rank twos and rank ones no one here that uh, I really want to be taken up. So it's really one of these champions that is already at a rank 3 level. That's going to be going up to rank 4. And uh, we, ha we have some good options. We have some great options in you know, Omega Red. I think I took him up to Sig 2, uh, close to Sig 200. Which is tempting. Um, Havoc also a little bit tempting. But uh, with the announcement of Necropolis... There's only one champion here that I'm looking to rank, and it's not Strife, because Strife is available as a 7-star. He's in the current basic pool, so yeah, if I pulled a Strife from there, that'd be cool. I might rank 2, but Apocalypse here, he does not exist as a 7-star, and it's unlikely that he will, because he would be an absolutely incredible 7-star, because his awakening ability... It's practically dupe, uh, practically useless. I was, about, I was about to say dupeless, <laughs> which I mean, uh, a seven star would just be great. Dupeless, yeah. Um, but yeah, he really does not need, need this awaken ability in at all. It's a little bit of regen. Like use some potions and you get the same thing. Like it, yeah, completely not needed at all. So a seven star apoc would just be so good out of the box. It'd be crazy. Maybe we'll get him. I don't know. I was asking the guys about this at the Airbnb, and MSD and Bitter both said they don't think Apox coming as a seven star, and I and I agree with them. Um, but yeah, Apox really really good for this type of content. Uh, even if I'm not going to be using him, there's a, a decent chance I'll be bringing him to make a horseman or something. So yeah, might as well have him at a higher level, three to four rank up gem. Let's go ahead and throw that into Apocalypse. There we go. All right, I think I should have more than enough mutant ISO. Yeah, the, the ISO, it's going to be interesting. I think we're definitely going to run out of cosmic ISO. I think I should be good on uh, on everything else, but yeah, cosmic ISO might get uh, a little rough. But okay, all right, that's all my mutant ISO. Wow, I, I don't even have enough. Uh, okay, it looks like I very much so overestimated my ISO stash. Yeah, we are in trouble when it comes to cosmic. I Uh-oh, that's going to be bad. 
Uh, <clears throat> all right, let's just use a little bit of basic ice. So can we get the rest of the way? No, we cannot. Yeah, I think I should have a lot of tech ice. So I think tech, we might just have to be using tech for like everything, but I'm pretty sure I have like a metric ton of tech ISO. So we're just gonna use that, all right? There we go. That is Apocalypse up to rank four. Awesome. He is uh, I'm definitely a chance that I bring him into Necropolis. I might not. This, this might be a bit of a waste of a rank up, but uh, either way, it's fine. They're like I, I was kind of disappointed when I pulled that mutant gem originally. There wasn't really anyone else that I wanted to rank that bad, anyways. So uh, I'm glad Apocalypse got it finally up to a rank four level. Okay, next up, we're going to go ahead and use the tech gem. So this tech 425 gem. This one was an interesting one. Tech wasn't the one I wanted the most, but if I pulled it, I knew I had two tremendous options. And it's a bit of a difficult choice here. So let me show you guys those options. So if we just go ahead and put this over to six stars, to tech, and we take a look at my rank fives. Got some really, really solid tech rank fives already in Nimrod, Warlock buffed iron man future ant-man um i i it feels a little a little bit bad that i have a tech four to five gem but i spent you know seven thousand five hundred units for the iron man tech gem uh just because again with necropolis out now i i really did not think necropolis was going to be coming out until next year uh so was, the plan was to really build up my units for the rest of this year to prepare for that but it's coming out next month so yeah i starting to regret spending those units especially when i could have just given iron man this tech gem that i just got for free or if i could just sell my this tech gem for 7500 units i sure would but we cannot do that it is what it is uh here are my or we'll circle back to rank fours here's my rank three tech champions out of these like lady death strike would be kind of interesting but she does exist as a seven star so i don't think so um and yeah there's no one down here that i'm looking to rank so if we take this to rank fours. There's there's two two options here. Omega Sentinel, not the biggest fan of playing her. Iron Doom, I I I'd rank this guy down if I could. Penny Parker could be be an all right option, but it's not what I'm gonna do. So it really comes down to two champions. That is Stark and Hat Spider Man. You know, probably my overall favorite champion in the entire game. I recently just took him to Sig 200. Um, I pulled him from a crystal. Got like Sig 197, and I just gave him like the last, or Sig 193, and I gave him like the last seven tech stones, so he's all maxed out. Or Ghost. You know, also already maxed out, right? 4 Sig 200. Ghost really helped me get my Mythic title. Her and uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider really helped me achieve becoming Mythic. Um, <clears throat> we used Ghost during the, the Battle Round Brawl. It's probably my, my best fight that I had on stage. It's pretty hype. I love Ghost. It's a tough choice. It's it's a really tough choice. Um, I've I've played a lot with both these champions. They're both very powerful. They both would be great for battlegrounds as you know, mainly offensive options. And I think what it comes down to is the next meta is going to be Hazard Shift. So I, I'm I think I'm looking to push fairly high for the end of this battleground season so i think a rank five ghost for hazard shift is going to be pretty much an auto draft on every single round uh, i mean ghost in general and so having her at a rank five level it's going to end fights probably in just like one special two even like big sasquatches and stuff so yeah i think uh, i think ghost gets the gem here ghost gets the gem stark spidey He'll get his dues one day. He will get his one his dues one day. I absolutely promise you that. But for today, it's Ghost. She's going up. I think she's she's gonna be a be a real asset, especially in that next meta. And you know, any metas in the future where we have some type of damage over time debuff being applied, Ghost is always going to be a top three option for the entire meta. So you know, she's always gonna have relevancy. She's a great champ. And like even out of you know ideal metas. At a rank 5 level, I'm much more likely to include her in my deck. So, boom. There we go. Rank 5 Ghost. Awesome. Very, very awesome. Sweet. Alright. Let's, uh, let's, let's go take a look what we're at 
so far for level up here. How are we looking? So we're done, <laughs> of course. 134,000 points already. Okay, I think we're going to get over like 300k. No problem. Let's claim all that. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do a Cosmic Champion next. So let's circle back around to that Adam Warlock. Here he is. So at the start of this video, he was rank 1, level 1. By the end of this video, he will be rank 5, level 65. So let's go ahead and do it. We're going to defeat him, whatever tech ISO we have left. Um, and I think I'm going to continue giving him tech ISO as well. Oh, that's all my tech ISO. Okay. Well, this is... <laughs> my ISO stash is going to be completely wiped out after this. So, alright, I do have some, some rank 1 to 2 gems... But I have a million tier 5 basic and tier 2 alpha. So we're just going to go ahead and use those. Right. That does it for the tech ISO. Alright, let's 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 switch over to, to cosmic. And I have some. I have some. But I don't think I have enough to take this guy all the way to rank 5 level 65. Maybe like rank 4. But rank 5, I don't think so. So, alright, rank 3... Let's go ahead and pull the trigger on that. Again, not going to be using the rank of gems for ranks one for one to two to one to two to three. Not that you need a gem to take a chance to rank one because they start at that, but you guys know what I mean. Right? Maybe I actually have more cosmic guys than I thought. I don't know. Hopefully. Alright, halfway. Let's keep going. My gold is also getting destroyed. I don't know what I was at the start of this video, but I think I was around like 20 million. So that's already taken a massive hit. Uh, that hurts. Yeah, that's that's it for Cosmic Guys. So not even enough for rank four. Damn. Almost though. All right. Um, huh. <sighs> I'm I'm genuinely running out of ISO entirely. Uh, that's bad. All right, that okay. <laughs> Maybe we should open a couple of crystals. Let's uh, let's go see what I have for crystals real quick. I don't have like a ton. Yesterday was was Cosmic Day and Tech Day, and I opened a bunch. I uh, got some Grandmaster crystals. Maybe we can pull some Cosmic dupes out of here. Swap ten. There's a Gore. Okay. Four star Gore. That's really good to see. That's some Cosmic ISO and a, and a four star Nexus. That could potentially be some more Cosmic ISO. Let's pop another 10. I get another Cosmic four star. Got a five star Nexus. Uh, okay. Sure. That's good. All right. Decent chance uh, we can get some Cosmic ISO out of those. Let's go pop them open. I got the four star one here and Cosmic Champ. No Cosmic Champ. Uh, so we'll take some skill ISO. I don't know. I don't really need science or tech right now. Open the five star one. Cosmic champ. Nice. Wouldn't mind awakening a Kate, but right now we need ISO. So I can take that. All right, that 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 should do. And if not, I mean, let's just use other class types. It's fine. All right, let's get back to it. Mr. Warlock, there you are. So, I can use Catalyst to take this guy up to rank 4. Uh, however, at the, point in, at the point in the game where I am currently, I don't want to be using these Catalysts on 6 stars anymore. I want to be focusing all these Catalysts on 7 stars. Take 7 of each of these Tier 6 Basic and Tier 3 Alpha to rank 2 as 7 star. That is a ton of... Like, one rank up usually, you know, kind of takes away your stash unless you've been really stockpiling. So, I just, I just can't afford to be utilizing these materials on 6 stars anymore. Thankfully, uh, rank up gems are, are appearing at a, at a higher rate, especially in 8.3, which is really good to see because I don't want to be wasting these catalysts. So, these rank up gems are great. I hope we see more. So, we're going to go ahead and use the generic 3 to 4. There were some other champs I was debating throwing that into, but... Um, I want him to go up, and I don't want to use Catalyst, so at the end of the day, he's going to get it. 
All right, we got a little bit more cosmic iso here. I don't think it'll be quite enough, but that that gets us fairly close. Level forty three. That's good. And then I think we'll just use some skill iso to go the rest of the way. Yeah, that should be enough, right? Yep. All right, there we go. That is rank four, Adam Warlock. Uh, wait, I just realized we still have a full other rank. It's gonna be still a ton of iso. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know why I thought that was the end, but yeah, we still need just so much more ISO. What else do I have? Oh, wait, I have this. I do have this. This is a gallon. So, that's some cosmic ISO. I forgot about that. Um, got a couple paragons for these. Let's pop these open. Hope for a four star cosmic champion. Multiple four star cosmic champions. Iron Fist, Mystic Iso, I guess, I guess we'll take it. Anything else I have to open? Uh, um, not, not really, that's, that's about it. That is about it. All right, we'll, we'll just have to figure it out. We'll just have to figure it out. Okay, Mr. Warlock. So, as you guys can see, I cannot rank five him through normal means. I just used all these tier 6 Cosmic Callus on the boy Gladiator, banking on that tune-up whenever that happens for rebalancing. But we do have this 4 to 5 Cosmic Gem that I paid a steep price of 1.5 million loyalty. And the only champion in the game that I want to be using this gem on is Adam Warlock. Unfortunately, I didn't have him. When I, when I got the gem. But big shout out to Captain Bay. That video should already be on the channel by the time you're watching this. Uh, but yeah, Captain Bay opened up an Abyss Nexus for me. Cosmic variety that I got from spinning the wheel. And out popped Adam Warlock. Finally, man. I, I've tried and tried and tried to get this guy. So shout out to Captain Bay for finally making it happen. And yeah, he's going to get what he deserves, which is rank 5. So let's go ahead and do that. My god, my gold stash. I jump I turned on the recall masteries and I did jump back into arena today. And uh, I'm sure glad I did. I'm gonna need to, to really be grinding. I think I'm gonna try to just grind out a ton of units. Cause Necropolis drops November 15th, so that's like 20 some days. So I'd like to get to like 15,000 units. I don't know. That that's 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 a lot. But, I, I'm gonna try. Alright. A little bit of science iso. A little bit of mutant iso that we just got. Wow, I don't think I've ever been this iso broke before. It's crazy. I start buying paragon crystals. <laughs> uh, I think, okay, we got a little bit of tech iso too. Damn. Damn, bro. This is, this is rough out here. <laughs> It, this is rough, dude. This is rough. Okay. Uh, do you have tier 3 basic ISO? That's it. <laughs> oh no. This is... This is what happens when you go free to play for like a full month. This is what happens to your ISO stash. Oh no. Oh no. Oh man. This is this is sad. It's very sad. Um, all right, all we have left is Mystic Iso. How much do I have? That's all I have. Oh no. I we still have the the seven star to rank up. Dude, this is this is a genuine problem. Um. All right, I gotta pop premiums, dude. <laughs> I got, I got, I got some premium hero crystals, I guess. Let's, uh, dude, I didn't think it was going to be this bad on ISO. Oh my goodness. This is embarrassing. Oh my God. Okay. That, that's good. That's really good. Actually a four star comic ghost rider. Uh, cause as you guys can tell, I'm, I'm not using mystic ISO just yet. So that I guess that kind of spoils the class of the seven star that I'm going to be taking to rank two. Um, but yeah, that's a new champ we, we don't we don't want new champs that is unfortunate if that was a dupe if that mystic iso would have, would have been nice okay there's there's some iso 
I do have some six stars I guess I could pop open. Worst case scenario. Uh, I was just kind of going to save those for my birthday. Uh, I'm going to be doing a little opening on my birthday, so I'm kind of excited about that. A couple more premiums here. Dude, this, this is rough out here. Okay, let's... Let's see if that is enough to finish this. Okay. I don't want to use up this Mystic ISO. Let me deselect that. Yeah. Uh, we use a little bit. Never mind. <laughs> Let's claim a little bit of something else. Okay, we're almost there. Level 64. This has been the roughest rank up I've, I think I might have ever had to do. Alright, we got a little bit more Cosmic ISO. Just one brick. There we go. Okay, that, that was brutal. That was absolutely brutal. But, we did it. We got there. The gold stash. We've already used half of it. Yikes. But, alright. Now, let me show you guys something funny. So, if we go to... The champion items here six star awakening gems um have nine generics one tech two mutants one skill and three cosmics so i've I have three of these but <laughs> there's no one i can use them on until i pulled adam so yeah he is definitely going to be getting that uh awakening gem uh, literally don't, can't even use it on anyone else. There we go. Boom. Adam Warlock awakened. Now we're also going to take him all the way up to Sig 200. So we've got 62 Cosmic Stones. There we go. And look at this. My, my stash is bugged. Somehow I, I have banked in my inventory 195 Sig Stones. I don't know what kind of wizardry I did to do that. But it's cool. I think I'm gonna actually have to use them up though and fix this glitch, unfortunately. Oh, it looks like they went into the inventory again. Huh. That is so weird. Glitch just keeps getting weirder. And weirder. But there we go, 96 stones, all the way up to SIG 200. And hopefully my stash fixes itself. There we go, man, Adam Warlock all maxed out he started rank one level one unduped now rank five level 65 sig 200 and he is now a contender for my next ascension i think right now it's between like three three four champs um and he is definitely one of them so that is very exciting really glad to have adam warlock up there with the boys awesome let me let me just take a real quick look at uh, the sig stone inventory did it fix itself now yeah, because the limit's supposed to be 125, even with the sigil. Okay, and then we have one final rank up here with that one to two gems. So if we take a look at the seven star roster, these are my current seven star rank twos with the newest addition here being Gladiator. Um, you know, I, I, I ranked him up because you know, I picked him. So it, it felt wrong to leave him at rank one. However, you know, that, that, that choice is more of a long-term play, waiting for rebalancing. So I think it might not have been the best idea to rank him up. Like, right now, I think I maybe should have ranked up someone a little bit more useful for the current Battlegrounds meta. Uh, however, we have this rank 1 and 2 gem. So this this rank up is really going to be helping me for, for Battlegrounds. So out of these are my rank 1s, I would say there are there's a few contenders. There's definitely a few contenders, but I, I really think it comes down to, to three champions for me that I want to be taking up to a rank two level. You know, Storm Pyramid X is cool, and I would like to rank her. However, there's another mutant that I want to rank ahead of her right now. And Falcon, this guy is also really cool, and I'm tempted to rank him, but I'm also tempted to rank Mantis. So I'm not sure. One of one of those skill champions will be my next skill rank too, but I'm not sure which one yet. So it really comes down to two champions. Domino and Mangog. And if we if we take a look at the catalyst stash here, I'm 
you know, close to being able to, to rank up both of them, actually. Super close to being able to take up Mangog here. And uh, it may look that I'm very far from these mutant catalysts. However, the plan for that is with these Battlegrounds Alliance event here. We're going to be getting a full T6 CC, CC selector and 225%. So that's one and a half. That's like exactly what I need to get to four catalysts for Domino. Uh, and also, these are the last bit of uh, materials I need to do a 7-star rank 2 without the rank-up gem. So, with those resources, Domino will be going to rank 2. In the meantime, we're going to be taking up a Mystic Champion. Now, as you guys saw, I do have almost 4 Mystic Catalysts. So, you might be thinking, like, why use the rank-up gem on a Mystic Champion, you know, if, if you almost have the materials to rank 2 a Mystic? And the reason is, it's because I want to get multiple rank 2 Mystics. As you guys can see, the Mystic roster, dude, it, it's stacked. Like, it's by far my, my most champion-heavy class here. Not even close. Um, so, like, there's some really good champs here. Mangog is my a personal favorite here, uh, just because he is such a beast on defense and that that is what i'm all about for battlegrounds that's my strategy man take the big boys up to rank two and slap them on defense i firmly believe in that strategy so that's what i'm going to be doing however seton man of legends just so happened to dupe my wongers now wong is also a good defender i don't think he's quite as good as mangog or, or sasquatch however he's a good defender a great defender i would even say and I think he would be a solid rank too for that. Not quite enough to make me want to do it though, especially not over Mangog. However, with Necropolis, Wong might be extremely good in Necropolis. So, I'm going to be holding on to those Mystic Catalysts in case that is true, in case I need to rank to this Wong for Necropolis, I'll have those Catalysts ready. But in the meantime, this 1 to 2 gem, it's going to my big boy Bandog here. So let's go ahead, pull the trigger. That's my thought process behind these rank ups. I've given this a ton of thought. I've changed my mind a few times, but this is ultimately what I have decided to do. So let's hope we have enough Mystic ISO for this. I think we will. Uh, we have some T6 in there that I just saw. So hopefully that gets us the rest of the way. And man, my gold is, is a sad sight. Yeah, we do have enough Mystic Eyes, so there we go. Sweet. Alright, that, that was actually that was easy. That was so much easier than, than Adam. But alright, there's a rank 2 Mangog. So now let's go ahead and filter this to our 7 star rank 2s. We have another champ joining us. So we are up to 9. 9 7 star rank 2s now, which is absolutely fantastic. It's looking really good. My roster, I'm, I'm really proud of it, and it's, it's come a long way. So yeah, that's uh, going to be a, a, a now. And basically, if I see Mangog now, I'm definitely going to be drafting him. At rank 1, he was in the deck, but I rarely ever drafted him. Now, he's going to be getting drafted a lot. So very, very excited to take him for a spin. Um, and yeah, also extremely stoked about my new rank 5s. So, you know, that is Ghost. And Adam Warlock, you know, two two amazing champions. Ghost, the OG, Adam, the new guy that just came out this year. Uh, but, you know, we don't have Adam as a 7-star. So, for that reason, that makes me so much more inclined to take up his 6-star version. Because that this is the biggest Adam that we can have right now, aside from Ascension. But, yeah, he will be a contender for my, uh, my next Ascension, which I should be getting soon. Because I think I just need to complete the side quest once the final week for that is out. And I should be able to do another ascension, so it should be interesting. But uh, that is going to go ahead and do it for this mass rank up level up video. Let's see what our final score is ending on. 384,000 points. Nice. Let's see. What am, what am I going to get for, for all that hard work? Just just top 1 to 10%. Damn, there's no like top 10 unfortunate but all right guys that's going to go ahead and do it for this uh this mass level up rank up video i really hope that you guys enjoyed drop a thumbs up if so subscribe if you would like to see more content and leave a comment if there's gameplay that you really want to see i'll probably have to get some adam warlock gameplay definitely want to take him for a spin in battlegrounds um 
And yeah, I'm, I'm sure Ghost is going to just be crushing it for the next meta. So I'm very excited about that. That's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace out.